Hey guys, welcome to Machine Studios Demo Impressions. I'm Justin. And I'm Tyler. Okay, right here we're, today we're looking at Blur Multiplayer Only Demo on Xbox Live Gold exclusively or PSN Network. I don't no, know it's, it's on. not on PSN. It isn't? I thought they were going to do both. No, nah, just Xbox Live, man. Great. That is for the Gold members only, guys. So if you're still a member, start paying for online. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, one thing to notice about Blur is the menus look phenomenal. I mean... Not that we care much, we want to get into a race, so we skip some stuff here, but you gotta admit, they look beautiful, just like the rest of the game. Yeah, also, yeah, this is the uh, lobby that everyone goes in. As you can see, there's about 10 on left and 10 on the right, which means up to 20 people can be in a race at a certain time, depending on the mode you're in. And right there was the voting system, LA Docs. So each map you can do is a loading is a voting system between, between all the racers. Yeah, and it randomly picks a class based on the map as well. Yeah. Right here, though, you see all the cars you can use with this class B, which is the ZR1, Ford GT, the Xero Cup 260 by Lotus, and the Volkswagen Scirocco 24. And that's different colors you can use for your cars. Good job remembering all of those. Thank you. Anyways, uh, that's the mod shop, which is all loadout summaries, kind of like in Modern Warfare 2. You have your base ones, and you can also add any of these to dictate wherever the hell you want them to be. I chose that one. I mean, not to make comparisons between Activision games, but it seems like Blur is essentially a, a Modern Warfare 2 with cars. Which, to be fair, Modern Warfare 2 is an excellent game. Recently, it's been kind of weird, but the matchmaking is excellent, as well as the leveling system is also excellent. Yeah, so. I have no problems with it. I'm excited. It's also Bizarre Creations who did Project Gotham Racing. Those guys know how to make a good racer. That's very true. Also, yeah, this isn't glitch. This is the stylized look of the game. It scared the crap out of me the first time I played it. And as you see right here, I'm racing before the race actually starts. Because try to get you a good feel for the game before you start playing it. Alright, anyways, this is because my, one of my mods allows me to get an item right out of the gate. So that's part of my loadout, and that's how I had that boost before I even hit a, a power-up right here. This power, for instance, I'm shooting in front of me, and I just got hit by one in front of me as well. It's, it's, a, a, it's a homing, homing missile. missile. Yeah. And what homing missiles do is just like Red Shows and Mario Kart, exact same stuff. Yeah, the lightning trap is what you guys just saw right here as well. Yeah, that's also another attack. It's not really, it's just pretty much lightning bolts go around. And that's that was the shockwave that you got hit by. And that's correct. You actually do something really impressive here. He basically does almost this entire lap uh, with damage, but yeah. right, here, well, right here, awesome driving excellent. skill. Yeah, because of the damage, the more damage you, the harder it is to control your car. Also, the harder it is drift. to, yeah. Also, the harder it is to see out the back of your uh Rear view mirror. Yeah, but that doesn't really affect me too badly. Um, so you just don't look behind me too much. Yeah, that's fair. It was right there. I, sh I threw a shot on mine in front of, you, in front of me. Because depending on your position in the race, you just shoot things in front of you and behind you. That's all weapons within this game if they're not a surrounding item. Kind of like the shockwave or the repair or the shield. Also, uh, keep in mind, uh, guys, these corners here that are glowing and lit up, that is where you're technically supposed to stay within to get the best speed. It's really hard to. I haven't seen a single person do it. Yeah, I, I just ignore it. I, I think you can, to be fair. This is more of a kart racer anyways, in my opinion. It's not about the perfect race. It's about having fun and about seeing who, who you can crash and who you can't crash. And that's just my opinion. So, as you see here, I can see a homing bolt coming right at me. So what I do is I take, I quickly change my shield, which means you can have up to three power-ups at any given time. And you can switch to them using the Xbox. Right here, I'm powering. I'm using my boost because right now my triple shot isn't really point there's no point using it right now so but you just use it right there and that guy made him kind of swerve out well yeah goal. exactly and get you a chance to get ahead of him exactly so use them use the weapons that are between times that's how you do it that's how i do it in this game at least yeah you're really good at the, using the weapons well yeah, everyone has their own play style right i use weapons other people use drifting that's why the card is so important before you choose your race so does this say turning isn't your best quality well you can use the one that the controls better. That way, you can focus more so on where you are placing items. This game is pretty much allows you to play the game how you want to play it, which is kind of the direction most games are going now. And I'm glad racing is finally gone. Yeah, same here. I mean, I'm not big into racers, but this game has me very excited. Yeah, uh, this also with split second coming out later on. Yeah, I, I'm g hoping they release a demo for that one, and we can get a chance to look at it as well to compare the two. I agree. As you can see here, all these fans I'm getting, you know, 499, 500, that's how you rank up in Blur. The more fans you have, the more you rank up. I am right now ranked 14. 
With the max being 15. With max being 15 for the demo only. I think the max eventually goes up to about 50 or so. I'm not exactly sure. They haven't released those details. Anyways, and now I'm finished the match. Right here, we actually go through just, you know, I'm not even controlling the car right now. It's a simple after race thing. But you have to wait until everyone else is done the race before you can exit. Yeah, I don't know how the computer drives like this. No one ever does. I, I take I take dicks from it. Fair enough. Anyways, right here you see who won the race in the second and third place. And from there you see how everyone ranked. As you can see, someone got disconnected and it shows that in the race. Wow, I didn't notice that. Anyways, on track fans, challenge bonus and that. So my fan total is 1754. That ups my rank. Anyways, this is the end of the demo impressions with Machine Studios Blur. Yeah, if you guys uh, want to check us out, machinestudios.com. We have a weekly podcast and a bunch more stuff on the site. No.